it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell. Today the topic is, can bone-on-bone -bone arthritis be helped with stem cell therapy? We get this question all the time. People feel like if you don't have any cartilage left, then it doesn't make sense to have a stem cell procedure. We used to think that five years ago. We used to tell the providers that work with us not to do it because we just didn't think that it was you know, worth the time and expense for a patient to have that. But the feedback that we got from our providers over the last you know, four years since then is that it actually does work and it actually can provide great outcomes. Now here's what we, here's what, what our providers see is that if you have bone on bone, a lot of times it's not truly bone on bone. It's actually close to bone on bone. There is still some joint space there, which means that there is some cartilage there, and you can get some cartilage restoration with a regenerative procedure. You're not going to get back to what you know God gave you. It's just not going to happen. That's unrealistic. But what is realistic is that the amniotic material used has um, hyaluronic acid in it, which is a good motor oil lubricant for your knee. It has uh, stem cells in it. It also has a lot of growth factors um, and things called cytokines. And all of those can help your body help the reparative process and to grow some cartilage and help to replenish the motor oil of your knee so that you can get an excellent outcome. All right? It can help you get back to the activities that you want to perform, need, less need for, for pain medication, and also avoiding the need for a joint replacement. Now then the question we get is, well, how long is that going to last? Well, it's unrealistic to expect that it's going to last for three, four, five, seven, ten years. All right? Because of the severity of the condition, most likely it's going to last, you know, 12, 18, maybe 24 months. But there will come a time when you'll need either some supplementary procedures with the hyaluronic acid or possibly some additional PRP, and then maybe eventually a stem cell procedure. Because um, here's what's happening, is that cartilage is continuing to be made throughout life, all right, at the same rate. But the loss of cartilage goes up as we age with degenerative arthritis. With a stem cell procedure, you can change some of that ratio to where you're making more cartilage, but eventually it's going to come back down. And then with PRP and hyaluronic acid, the hope is that you can maintain it so that things don't get worse like they would be you know, without the treatment. Visit us online today at r3stemcell.com. There's a lot of educational information on the site. If you push the video icon on the top left, that's our YouTube channel. There's about 100 videos there done by uh, me, and we also have a lot of testimonial videos coming out um, as well. Then call us at 844-GET-STEM. We'll get you in for treatment at a location near you. Thank you.